Okay, so here's um, kind of a unit um, re unit rearrangement question. Um, okay, so the Earth receives 1.8 times 10 to the 14 kilojoules per second of energy. What mass of solar material is converted to energy over a 24-hour period to provide this daily amount of solar energy? So. Um, our total energy then would be if we if we're given uh, this value for an energy per second, then we would have to multiply by. Um, it wants to know how much total energy over a twenty-four hour period. So we need to get rid of the seconds. So it'd be twenty-four hours because the times on the top are on the bottom in the in this unit uh, but of course our hours we want to cancel with the seconds so we need to multiply by uh, 60 minutes per hour canceling the hours and 60 seconds per minute canceling the minutes and the seconds I'm just going to shift this down in case it's not visible um, okay so then if we run this through on our calculator, we would get a value of about 15.552 times 10 to the 18 kilojoules. Um, and then we round it to only two significant figures at the end, but for now I'm just holding on to everything. Um, and now um, mass, we would calculate from E equals mc squared. So our mass would be, which corresponds to this energy, would be 15.552 times 10 to the 18 uh, kilojoules divided by um, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second squared. So that's just rearranging the equation. Um, so now to get a unit of mass out, we're going to need this to be in joules. Um, and then recall that a joule is a kilogram uh, meter squared per second squared. So that'll cancel with the meter squared per second squared on the bottom and give you kilograms at the other, other side. Um, so this would be a thousand joules per kilojoule. So canceling the kilojoules. Um, and so then again running this through on our calculator we get a 173.04 times 10 to the 3 kilograms. Um, which we, if we round at the end here because this is the mass that we're looking for so it would just be two significant figures, so 1.7 times 10 to the 5 kilograms. Uh, okay, so then the second part of the question says, uh, what mass of coal would have to be burned to provide the same amount? Uh, coal releases 32 kilojoules per gram. So for coal, we have um, 32 kilojoules per gram. So then again, we can use some unit analysis here to find that if our energy is 15.552 times 10 to the 18 kilojoules, then we'll end up with a mass if we divide by 32 kilojoules per gram because then our kilojoules will cancel and the gram will come up top. And then if we run this through on our calculator, we would get 4.86 times 10 to the 17 grams. Um, and it doesn't ask for a specific unit, so that should be fine. Um, and again, to, signif to two significant figures would be 4.9 times 10 to the 17 
grams. Okay, so checking through the solution here, so we can, uh, as they, as I pointed out, we can use the dimensional analysis. Um, so 1.6 would be the appropriate um, significant figures, but again, I prefer not to round until the end. Um, partially just because you end up with some rounding errors at the end, like here. Um, and to get the mass of coal, um, again, we would get around five, so this is in kilograms, that's why it's 10 to the 14. Uh, in grams, it would be 10 to the 17. Um, and so that looks okay. It's the, the, the difference in the point one is likely again just rounding errors. So that looks good.